Welcome back everyone, today I have another video and today we're doing Magellan. Uh, reason why is because we did a get a new car basically only for this leader, honestly, uh, which is uh, Mino Chihuahua. Uh, could be used in other leaders, but th this one is probably like what it was meant for. Um, it has rush and uh, is an impel down card, so you can get to pl you get to play for one less with a uh, little sati. So it's decent, and if, if it's KO, if the leader is impel down, which the leader is, of course, you get one down in rest mode. So you can use it as an early ramp too, if you want to. Like early on, you get to attack, attack, going second, you get to attack with leader, attack with this, and then ramp. Uh, not having a counter could be an issue sometimes, uh, so you have to be careful with that end. Um, but yeah, I mean it's a, it's a decent rush card that it can it can it can play decent in some matchups. So I wanted to play it out as, as a three of at least. And we also got a new car uh, in Ragnarok, which it helps versus matchups like something that can play like an A drop kit. If you are able to remove the A drop kit with this, then you have a free avenue to just keep going. Uh, decent card, uh, I think you kind of have to play it if you play against Kid because that card is very difficult for this leader to beat because you can flood the card, the board with like 5k attackers but if you cannot get past the, the Kid, it's going to be really difficult, right? So that's why I added like two copies of that card. Um, everything else is something that we've seen before. It's the best card of the deck, of course, still, it still is Magellan because uh, it... I mean, it, it's just a difficult threat to remove and it just gives you the tempo. It triggers the leader as you attack for six. So uh, you're trying to do the same thing that, um, every turn, just trying to minus one done with queen, with all of these things and trying to just apply pressure every turn. You're trying to be like a, an aggro deck in that in that sense, of course. I also am playing hit because if you trigger the leader, I mean, yeah, if you're triggering the leader, you're triggering this card and it's decent enough. I actually didn't get to play it because most of the time I did have the Rhinoceros. So maybe this shouldn't be a 3 of. maybe it should be a, a, a 2 of, And then play more 2k counters could be really good. I, I, I did miss 2k counters in this deck. Uh, I was getting um, like aggressed and I getting like pushed in really fast. So uh, I, if anything, the, the change that I would make is 2 less hit into 2 more Frankies to have a little bit more 2k counters. Um, Raju was decent. Uh, sometimes, if you're minusing the opponent's done and you're minusing your done, it's difficult to trigger. But when you're at 10 done and you just keep playing cards, she will draw you cards. So it's still pretty decent in that end. So I will keep it for that reason. It's still like a refill uh, possibility, which the deck does struggle with card advantage. So that refill uh, capability for her is really decent, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, the deck functioned pretty decently. Uh, I still think it's gonna have a hard matchup versus a lot of decks. I mean, now, now it, like it's not like Luffy, where Luffy is so fast that it doesn't matter. This one has some difficult matchups versus some difficult, like versus some decks. So it is one of those type of decks that it kind of needs uh, a little bit more support, uh, a different kind of support uh, that really helps with the leader. But uh, as of right now, this is what I came up with, and um, let me know if you have some other versions that you play. If you play a, dif a different car, let me know in the comments, and we can talk about it, how to make this deck even better, right? With that being said, let's go to this gameplay. And a huge thanks to Car Market for sponsoring this video. Okay, we're gonna go against Law. This hand is perfect, so let's see what we can get. I guess we'll get the Rhino. It's not bad. That way we can play Rhino into Magellan, into double Magellan. Okay, that's pretty good. Attack for five. Let's see if he takes it. He does. Okay. It's not bad. Now let's see if he has more removal. I mean, if he has the removal for the Mino. For the Rhino. And then the following turn, we play Magellan, Magellan, and we'll see what we can do. Let's take the first damage. That's not terrible, actually. We can also just make him discard two cards. Not bad. Oh, wait, no. He's going to go... We'll do that when when we're close to... Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. If he wants to discard his hand... Like, if he wants to do a law, that would be really good for us. And the next turn we can do double Rhino. Okay. 
That's fine. And then we attack here. Let him go. Then we do double Rhino and then we'll go from there. Uh, I do want to preserve as much life as possible here. Okay, he has this. Very obnoxious. Because he had more ramp, is the question. Attack for six. Should come out of that one. Oh, he's going to attack only for sixes. I'll have to take that one, I guess. Oh, it's comboing like combo out of two fives, I guess. It's fine. On this spot. Is he going to go rush guy? No, okay. We actually escaped that thing. Okay. It's not bad. If I go this one, I don't do anything else. But that could severely hinder him, right? Because he won't be able to develop anything else. I think it is worth it. Double six drop would be okay too, but... I think I want to just deal the damage here. Remove one of the guys for sure. I'm gonna attack for seven. Okay, I'll take. Um, in that case. What is better here? I think playing double Rhino is better here. Because he cannot go for game on this. So if he wants to remove anything out of my board, it's going to be difficult. And we can keep the Blast Breath for defense if he attempts to go for game. And we have some, like, maybe we can clear his board. Offensive capability. So this kind of works for me, I think. Rage you, okay. That ain't bad, but... Definitely comboing out of that one. Definitely comboing out of that one. And then he has to keep the defense. We'll see. If he plays the rush guy, then I blast breath out of the... Because I can KO the, the, the rush guy and then go from there, right? I think I can. Okay, so he's going to do this one. Uh, let's play queen first. See what we draw. Uh, definitely just KOing this one. Getting some damage into this one here. We already have the creatures. We just have to leverage them. And not die on the crap back, so. Okay. Attacking for sixes now. Doing the same strategy that he did to me. It works. If he has to give me two cards, then that's great. But now he doesn't have any done, so I think I should win on the merits that he just doesn't have any done. Three done is not good enough here to survive. Like to deal me damage or to do anything.
best he can do is play uh, a rush guy. But yeah, he has to do it before I block with the queen. That feels really bad. Because whatever he attacks here, I just block. I guess he can save himself where he can play a second one. So it depends on what he does. But I guess I could I could also just force him to do it. I'm okay here. I think I am going to win. Doesn't seem like I am like he has too few limited options. So he's just going for it. Killer. Okay. I mean, I can just combo out of the killer to be honest. So let's just draw him in. Um, let's play this one. Uh, I guess I don't have to waste my dawn here. So I have more done to so I can go for a game. Yeah, it didn't did, like we were able to tax his energy with double Magellan, right? That's what I did this game. Yeah, double Magellan. So without a kid, that is really punishing. Well, I do know Sorrow is good. Let's try to mulligan for a one drop. Okay, perfect. And then we can go Sadi to develop a couple of creatures that is actually pretty good slash and special so we don't get caught by that he goes machino we do have answers for that Ooh, i can also just play khalifa actually not bad to do that Because he draws cards, and I think in this matchup is really good. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's just come out of that one. Ah, uh, this is a bad one. But we do get to play this and attack the leader. Let him go. See what my opponent wants to do. We could play the Queen or we could play the Magellan, depending on what we want to do. I guess Magellan can, can offer a lot of uh, offensive capabilities in this matchup. Five, I get to block. Perfect. I have to take some here. But by him attacking this early... He's not going to have a board. Oh. Okay, so he's going for the... I'm going to deal you damage and I'm going to try to kill you fast. That means... That I have to be the, uh, the defenser, defensive uh, player here. Uh, wisdom into Slash. I mean, if he gives us a 5k, that would be great. And then we play this one, use the action, discard one of this ones, and yeah, let him go. The queen being, uh, I think we have to defend our life because he's trying to put us to zero so we can, so he can use the, um, something to push through. So I think that's important. But if he goes like all in on this one, seven, I can combo out of, so I will. Next turn, I get to play another Rhinoceros, so that's not bad, right? No, I don't. Huh. It's not as great, then. Um, but I don't think Magellan is the way anymore. So let's just poke, poke. Poke, poke, poke.
And then we have two queens to play defense. I think that's pretty good. If he kills this one, I'll take it. Because I do want to draw some cards. Okay. Alright, we got out of that one on, on time. Oh, we also get to draw some cards here with... You know what? You got it. I do want to draw some cards here. Uncycle these cards that are not as good in this matchup. And we can draw some cards with Raid you. Okay, I think this is going to be fine. Hmm. Seven? No, I get to block and combo. Yes, yeah, so attack for six, and I get to block and combo too. Oh well, I guess he's gonna attack for that number. No, let's just combo. And here, I might as well draw some cards with Radio, right? He's at nine, yeah. So we get to draw, deploy, attack into this one, attack into this one. And we get to attack with the queens, I guess. Why not? Let's put the pressure on my opponent. We have the better board here. It's going to be difficult for him to actually go for game now. And next turn, we have Kaido, which is great. Yep. No blocker. I will use this one. Oh, wait. He was attacking only for six. But I didn't have a 2k, so might as well. Uh, sure, I'll take that one. Does he have another one? Remains to be seen. But I will keep some defense, because if not, I'll just att attempt to go for game. Ah oh, no, he just straight up going for it. Um Then we're just going for game, right? Yeah. Kinda have to. Yeah, I mean <laughs> you you could have kept the uh, radical beam so up, but Went too aggressive on that one. Then my turn would consist on playing the Kaido, remove this guy, attack his uh, his leader. He would have combat up everything, and then like he would have one more turn to try to kill me, which could have worked, but I would have two queens up, so much more difficult. All right, my opponent chose to go second, which is great for us. See if we can get the Magellan. We do. So we are gaming right now, actually. Let's attack with this one. Play the Rhino and let him go. Um, yeah, I'll take it because I'm probably going to get... Um, I mean, I need to defend my Rhino, if anything. And then attack for six. He took a five. Wow. Well, I guess if, if he did have the six, it doesn't really matter. I do want to kill his Okiku, I think. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Let's draw two. Discard one. Discard this one. We can get to play a double six next turn. Oh, hell yeah. All right, because he did that, I kind of want to combo, but I don't have anything to combo, so I have to take. Oh, GG. <laughs> Go back to two done, and I'm going to attack your Kiku now. Uh, 
Uh, I am low on tankers. What the heck? Uh, Rage is not good. Uh, Kiku is going to give him a lot of time. Not going to lie. But right now, you know what? I can. I think I can kind of race him, right? No, it's better if I take my time. Frigate, we're gonna go after his life. He's being too defensive with that. Let's go. <laughs> Give me cards from your your deck. No. No, I am the aggressor. Keep playing cards. Um, seven. I'm going for a game next turn, honestly. He was too defensive with the with the Kikus. I need to. Oh, this is a good one, eh? What do you have? Nothing? Okay. What do you have? Okay. What do you have? Sanji. Uh, okay. Okay. Ah, he got me there. Was not able to um, kill him there. Got exactly. It is what it is. I got yellowed. <laughs> All right, um, we're gonna go against this leader. Um, you know what? I could keep because he can. I mean, we're going first, so it's pretty good. Uh, in general, I think. Oh, that's actually amazing. Let's attack for five. Not give some information away. Ah. <sighs> Is it okay to do hit or the other one? I mean, they both require a card to be able to be active, right? And then I can attack for six with hit. Kind of like that. And then we can play Rhino. Ah, uh, let me think. Then we can play a four drop, I think. But you know what? I'm just gonna do the Rhino. Hit is not bad, but the Rhino is also good. I will play two, but then he gets to uh, bottom deck my Sadi for free. And I don't think this is the moment. Like, there's going to be a turn where I might be able to play, like, three cards in one turn. And I think that's better than just playing two on this turn. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, we got another Rhino. So this was the right decision for sure. Uh, let's attack with this one first. Let's use action. And then he cannot play a, a kid anymore. He has to play something else. Also, he, he taking that damage is kind of weird. Him taking that damage. I mean, he can play the kid, but he cannot play the kid and the minus ability on the same turn. So he has to skip the kid on this turn. That is huge. Uh, this does allow him to uh, block my leader every turn, I guess. 
he doesn't seem to have he, he's taking the damage so he doesn't seem to have all the tools that he needs because usually if they have everything they will just combo like he he has a radio because he combo radio i can believe that he would combo a radio if he doesn't have another one uh he might not have the minus the minusing tools it will look like to me because he's also just taking the damage on a five feels like he's looking for something he's digging through the deck or he's either missing the ramp he's either missing the ramp or the minus or something is, is there is some a missing piece for him i think uh there is no way i can i can let that happen so i'm just gonna combo to that one great i can attack that one now Uh, no, because he's gonna remove something here, and I have to remove whatever he. Yeah, okay. He's gonna go double Otama. That's cool with me. And then now I can attack seven at the blocker, which is the most annoying one, and then attacks five here. Now, if he kills a Rhino by battle, I get to draw a card, so it's not as bad. But we keep hitting his Dawn, which is very, very important. And he just let it die, so you know what? I'm, I'm okay with this. And he doesn't have a Gordon, so his removal is very, very clunky at the moment. Which is really good for us. I mean, he can, get, he can draw into a Gordon, for, of course, but... I uh, know at the moment this is fine. So what am I gonna do next turn? I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can do a three and a four and play the Sadi. Maybe that's good enough. Okay, okay. Oh, well, that's much better now. Uh, use action again. Make him uh, commit on that one. Attack for six. See if he blocks with the leader. And then attack for eight. Again, keep uh, pressuring that done which he doesn't have too much of but he does get to get one back this turn because of the kid so he's not in a terrible spot maybe we'll be able to hit him with the law doubt it but maybe um i do have to combo i'll combo one here I don't think he's going to pressure or uh, Magellan because he's going to... Oh, well. He's going to remove him. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's going to remove it that way. That I do believe. Um. Sure. Double of this Mono Chihuahua is actually kind of good. We can go for a game with them. Let's attack the leader here. See what he does. Um, let's go after the leader, right? Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, 
Okay, I don't think he can draw more cards, maybe. I do have to combo out of everything, because he might just go for game. He has the means right now to go for game. He might do it. It's a little bit all in for him, but I mean, I would probably have to, like, if I were him. Yeah, attacking for five does give him a confirmation that I don't have anything. Yeah. And he has, he has the rusher too. Yeah, okay. Not much that I could have done there. He was able to um, stifle. No, he just had a lot of draw. Okay, they choose to go first. I um, guess that's fine. Let's see what we get. Okay. Hmm, probably the rush. Was decent, not on this matchup, but uh, in general. Um, we need the card that KOs the A drop, because that card could be an issue for us. I think we have to take this. Ooh, no, it's fine. We're gonna play the rush card. Apply some damage early. Then we might have to do back to back Magellan. Could be. So we prevent the Aedra from coming down. Um, combo 2k. Okay. Definitely doing this. Attack with this one and attack with this one. Uh, this is obnoxious. He was able to get both of them out. Okay. It's not terrible, I guess. If we draw the card that destroys the A-drop, could be really good here. Based on what he has. Uh, I mean, yeah, I just come out of that one. Okay. Why didn't he do the leader ability? Are we going for game anytime? I mean, he can go for game next turn, right? If I take this one. I think I have to combo out. Six into six. Use action. Uh, discard this one. Attack for seven. Attack for seven. And we have to out combo his turn, I think. Let him go. And we'll see what happens. If he draws the A drop, we need the answer for the A drop. 
Uh, but besides that, there'll be a, a race here. You could attempt to go for game, it's not impossible. Okay. What are you gonna do? Okay. Oh, he has the A drop. Oh, he doesn't have the A drop. I don't know what happened. I don't know why he attacked this way. Oh, he has the 7 drop to tap it. All right, then I just stop with the queen. Oh, an L. Okay. So it's 7-7. Seven, seven, that's the final attack. Okay. Uh, let's just discard that one. I don't know. I feel like he should have gone for bigger, different numbers here. But I'll take it. Attack for seven. And the rest. Oh, interesting how that game won. went. All right. And for the final thoughts on this deck, uh, definitely... I don't know. It's still missing a lot. I, th I feel like, like you're in favor in so many matchups. Like, if they're able to apply pressure and remove your cards, is I mean, you do have some removal protection, but if they have removal like law, where your cards don't trigger, is very difficult for you to um, to have something going because you do rely on that minus ability and having something on board so you can apply a lot of pressure. So if their removal is something like law, it could be a really difficult matchup. Or if it's something like um, like uh, Sakatsuki, it could be a really difficult matchup as well. So it's 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 like a 50-50 deck. It's I would give it like a 3.5 at the moment. Uh, it will need more support for me to give it like a higher number uh, score for me. But with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.